All right, we're continuing on with the craft room clean out. So this is going to be US and PayPal only. I'm disabling comments. Please look at the drop down menu below this video. You'll find my email address there. Um, to claim a lot, please email that address with the lot number that you want and your PayPal email address. That way I can invoice you. Um, if it's available. So if it's available, I'll send you an invoice. Please pay that invoice promptly or I have to move on to the next person in line if there's anybody else in line. And um, what did I forget on that? Oh, and if it's uh, not available, then I'll let you know. Um, just have some patience because again, I keep repeating the same stuff over and over, but <laughs> just in case there's somebody new watching. Um, anyway, yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. I think that's it. So again, I'm jumping around with lot numbers, um, because lot numbers with, yeah, lot numbers. Guys, I've done so many of these videos in succession, um, um, beat. <laughs> so I'm going to try to get through this. I'm going to, I may say, I, I, the last video, I was like looking for the names of pa paper pads that, that were like right there in the center of the stupid pad. And I still couldn't like, duh. <laughs> so I know there's somebody watching this video going, man, what a doofus. Um, okay, so anyway, uh, let's just get into it. This is, um, this is all just stamps. This is all going to be just stamps, and there's a lot of lots, okay? All right, so I've got lot 20. This is going to be 25 shipped. This is the Hot Off the Press postcards. If you are a journaler, this is perfect for you. It's got these beautiful postcard fronts, your postage, and um, watermarks, and things like that. Really cool set that you cannot get anymore because I looked. And um, then I have a couple of the Wendy Vecchi Stampers Anonymous stamp sets. Again, I tried to do like like-minded, um, like-themed, I should say, um, stamps together. So this is the It's Face Art by Stampers Anonymous. This is a really large sheet, and it has never been used, and um, it is cling... Um, red cling red rubber um, that's mounted onto the sheet and this is just like a little idea sheet that comes with it and I also have mail art right here and again idea sheet right there all right so 25 shipped only because these sheets go for $28.95 on the Stampers Anonymous. So that's a good deal. All right, lot 21, 28 shipped. This is a steampunk themed set, and I have the Wendy Vecchi um, steampunk art set right here. And there are the stamps. I don't have the plastic wrap for that. I have the Tim Holtz. A uh, time traveler set right here and there are those stamps and then I have the deep red dress form steampunk I have stamped that one I have the steampunk lady right there the Steampunk Lady Cyclist, right here. And Steampunk Warrior, right there. Okay? So again, lot 21, 28 shipped. Twenty oh, oh, I should be on twenty two. I'm jumping around here. Lot twenty two is going to be in a medium flat rate box. This is thirty five dollars shipped. Um, there are some um, impression obsession background stamps in this one. Here, let me come in a little bit. 
there are some impression impression obsession background stamps in here so I am including the mega mount that is made by impression obsession that those background stamps um, fit on this really large mount right here this is the rocker mount by the way um <laughs> I'm gonna try to quit saying um but force of habit guys my whole life I feel like I always have to have some word in between the awkward silence okay deep red raindrops you obviously don't need a large mount for that one <laughs> These are the Impression Obsession background stamps. So I have the spider web right here. And what I did when I got these stamps is I just, you know, cut the back and um, laminated it um, so that I would have the stamp mounted to that. So all of these are like that. This is the tree line stamp set and there's that and this is the clouds right there that has been used I have the chicken wire it's got the cutout in it I have the creative expressions by Sam Poole this is the shabby lace and again I really wish I had just taken all these out but anyway, there's that one. It's not been used. I have off-brand brick wall. It's got like some outer floral, climbing florals, um, off-brand script, um, newsprint. This is the Prima Iron Orchid Designs. Um, oh gosh, what was this called? I can't remember. Large Frame, I think, was the name of that one. I have the Carabell Studio Stitched Media Background right here. Now this is too big for the rocker mount. And then I have the, oh who was this? <sighs> Joy Crafts. Yes, Joy Crafts. Joy Crafts um, Grunge Frames and Grunge ATCs. And this is the, oh, something tattered. Um, I don't have the packaging for it, but this is the something tattered um, a, um, wall the, the, the wallpaper samples. And there's two uh, different ones in here. I just stuck them in here together um, for storage purposes. Um, but anyway, something tattered, okay? All right. Again, that was lot 2235 shipped. Lot 23, $30 shipped. This is all Unity. Um, this is Angie Bloom Artful Expressions. And these are huge. These are great for art journaling, which is what I bought them for. And I also used them when I altered my um, art bag, travel art bag. These are really big, which is why it's on this 8.5 by. This is an 8.5 by 11 sheet that I laminated and then stuck all these on here. It's all clean red rubber. And then I have the Donna Downey. Um, you are important right here and that one is also huge she had a really cool um, video on using that in her uh, oh what was that Wednesday thing she always did with art journaling that was the whole reason why I started art journaling um, and then the Donna poppies right here again you have your outer edge and then the the inner and that there is that set okay so lot 23 30 dollars ship that is a great deal on these three stamp sets if you know you know if you know you know and i know i say that a lot but i mean it 
All right, lot 24. Hold on, I gotta grab a few here. I'll try to grab a few sets all at the same time off the floor here. All right, lot 24 is $25 shipped. And I believe this is steampunk themed. So this is the, is this Stampendous? Yes, this is the Stampendous heel with the clockworks on and gears on it. Off brand, 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 and the paper artsy hot picks, and that's really why this set is twenty five shipped is because of this one. This one is $30 just on its own. Um, this is the HP 1107 Clockworks, I think was the name of it, if it had a name. And then this one has never been used. All right. Lot 24, 25 shipped. Lot 25, 23 ships. This is mostly um, like artsy type, um, yeah, artsy type stamps. And um, they're mostly also Lost Coast designs or um, I can't remember. There was another, another name back in the day and I can't remember what the heck it was called. But anyway, um, there's that one. This is the... Tempest Fugit, and I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. These, these are all um, clean mount red rubber. Okay, I did a crap job stamping on this one because I started here and messed up, so I moved it over a little bit. But this is a Prima stamp, and I believe this is Lost Coast Designs. So that's Prima Lost Coast Designs. Um, I believe this is Lost Coast Designs. There's some just freebies that I'd gotten with Unity that I stuck in here. Um, some frames, finials. Right here. These art dolls. I loved using these in my journals. I'm pretty sure I used all of these. Yep. <laughs> these are very big, too. Those are big. And then these, again, I did not do a good job stamping on that. And that's the back of those. All right. Again, lot 25. 23 shipped. Lot 26 is going to be 23 shipped. This is the Art Gone Wild heart. And this is clean red rubber, and that one has not been used. Off brand. Indigo Blue uh, pe Peony Posy. God, some of this is stuck to it because I never used it, so it just sat and stored. Okay, I think I used that one. Nope, I guess I didn't. And then the rest of these, oh, and this was like floral themed. This one's all floral themed. This is um, Stampin' Up! Nature's Harvest. Celebrate Sunflowers. That one's really cool. And the Artistically Inked. This is like a watercolor floral. Right there. I don't think I used any of these. Alright, lot 26, 23 shipped.
lot 27. This is Impression Obsession. Uh, which one is this one? Oh, I do not know. Anyway. <clears throat> We're back to florals again, too. This is a Unity. Smile and move forward. Keep it simple. Soul Joy. Oh, I did use that one. Um, sweetness. This is a really cool one, too. Um, just pause it if you want to see the quotes on it. This is a really large stamp. You'll see that right here. Another indigo blue. This one is the Blazing Poppies. I would have saved so much time if I'd just taken these off. <laughs> oh well. Off brand. Off brand. And that's it on those. So again, that is lot 27, 23 shipped. Lot 28, 25 shipped. I've got um, a lot more Lost Coast designs in this one. More Lost Coast designs. I did stamp those back in the day. These were art journal stamps that I mainly used in my art journals. All red um, cling, cling mount red rubber. More Lost Coast designs. Right here. Again, really large stamps. And Lost Coast Designs. Right here. And then I have the Dilusions. Survivor. That's her. That's her. This one's been stamped, obviously not that one. And this one that has not been used, this is Strength. And it's got a mini of these two, mini version of these two right here, and then these two. That one right there, her right there. All right. Lot 28, 25 shipped. Lot 29. Whoa, that ain't going to work. Move that over. Lot 29. 23 shipped. This is a border stamp, and I don't remember. I don't remember what brand this was. It's a name brand. I just don't remember what it was. Same on this one. I use these on the borders of journal pages in quite a few of my journals. Um, Stampendous. I like this because it's like got that vintage look, and that's actually what this set is, is more like vintage. Um, I have these ATCs, and I do not remember, I don't remember where I got these. And it's clean red rubber. Um, the Blue Fern Studios. This is the washi strips. Um, how can you see them? There's like teacups in one. I've used two of the four here, but anyway. Off brand. More border stamps. Blue Fern, I use this one a lot <laughs> in my journals. You can't even really tell what it is. This one is the Arcadia Textures, is the name of it. And you can't really see very well, but there's like, um, you know, there's like the background of like a 
looks like almost like a clock in the background and it's just all viney and florally very cool I use that one in my journal a lot that's why it's got all the ink on it um, this lost and found by my mind's eye the bow bunny set which is dreamer and then the crafters companion sands of time this is a really cool set right here and music time this is another cool one I love the top head with the um, roses on it just never did anything um, unforgettable again this is another hot off the press one that I could not find anymore on the site so and then off-brand Okay, so lot 29, 23 shipped. Lot 30, 23 shipped. Here's that brand again that I can't remember the name of. Uh, some more Stampendous, Live Creatively. This is the cute little owl standing on a stack of books. Deep Red. Life Imagined. This is Cling Red Rubber. Off brand. This is the Sassafras Lass Ribbonry. So you can do like your own little designs on tape strips and stuff. Very cool. Um, something Tattered. I use this a lot too, as you can tell. Very inked up. I, don't know, I think it was just called Chandeliers or something like that. Off brand border. Another off brand border. Blue fern. Again, this is another one I use. There's a clock in here. Um, I think there's like another little clock in here. Man, I use this a lot. Okay. Um, this one is called Dreamy. <laughs> off brand. Another lost and found step stamp set by. Um, maybe that's what. My Mind's Eye called all their stamps. I don't know. And this one's called Happy. Crafter's Companion. Time Flies. Very cool. Um, Fiskers. And Feathers by Hot Off the Press. Again, I don't think this one that this one wasn't found to be found anymore either. Okay. Sorry to be so anal here. I just like keeping everything all together. Okay, lot 30. That was 23 shipped. Next. Thirty-one. Stay. Lot 31. 23 shipped. This is another deep red corset collage. This is like feminine related. Graphic 45. Oh, what was the set? The Gilded Lily, I think. It's like got that Marie Antoinette vibe to it. Another graphic 45 from that same set. This is a uh, clean red rubber. Both of those. Oh, just like the deep red too. Sorry, I don't think I showed the back of that. This set here. Technique Junkie. It's good to be queen. And this is a large one too. Um, off brand. Off brand. Off brand. Um, and this is um, ah, Do Crafts. This is the A5 Clear Background Haberdashery. right there all right again that was lot 31 23 shipped 
Lot 32 is this Jane, sorry, 25 shipped. Jane Davenport, Poppy Girl. Um, now we're getting into the Dina Wakely st uh, stuff. This is Silhouetted Women. And this is Clean Red Rubber. Um, all the gals with all your little sentiments here. And this is Clean Red pretty sure Clean Red Rubber. Yes. And because these have never been used either. Whoops. Kind of tore that right there. This is, yeah, all the gals right there. And this is Cling Red rub Rubber as well. This is, oh, Face in the Crowd right there. And this is Cling Red Rubber as well. Twenty five shit. Hold on, I gotta move stuff out of the way. All right, lot thirty three is gonna be twenty shit. This is the Stampers Anonymous Tim Holtz stitches. If you can see that, this is clean red rubber. Too, and it's just all the stitch patterns. That's a really cool set. And then all the rest, I believe, is just vintage journal stamps um, that I got from Ally. Postage, all the airmail and watermark stamps. Um, this is just a script. Um, this is Tim Holtz. Um, life's possibilities. Some ATCs. Okay, lot 33, 20 shipped. All the rest is going to be Unity Stamps. Yeah, looks like all the rest of this is going to be Unity Stamps. So, this is lot 34. This is going to be 23 shipped. And this is all Susie Blue stamps. So, it's Gypsy Face, which I have stamped. Um, La 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 Girl and Broke My Heart right here. Serenity Angel. I don't remember what these were called. But these are Susie Blue too. Uh, Spring Flower. And these are all clean red rubber and you can see how big this one is. She's huge. She's huge. These are great journaling stamps. For putting little chickies in your journals. I was speaking of chickadee. And again, another really large one. I'm not going to open that. And then um, party girl. And there she is. Again, just really nice journal stamps. Again, lot 34, 23 shipped. Lot 35, 25 shipped. This is Only Imagine. Look how stinking adorable. I don't remember the name of this one, but it yes, it is a Unity stamp. And I have stamped her in a journal. Uh, Christy Tomlinson, She Leaps. Another really large one. Camille, right there. Another journal. Dream Girl. 
Mm. Isla Girl and Sunshine Girl. And there they are. Sorry, I guess I should show that a little bit better. Elsie Girl. And then there's quite a few in here. So, part of the story, Grace of Letting Go. Wear Confidence. So let me do up close so you can see each one. And then there are all the stamps back there. And then finally, Lot 36. I didn't think we'd ever get done. Lot 36. This 23 shipped. Love to go. Travel Wagon. I'd go anywhere and see the lights. I'm not even going to say what they are. You can read it right there. <laughs> and that one right there. And that was just a freebie that I got sent from Unity. This set right here. This one's really cute. And there are those. Focus on the things. And that's a really nice one right there. Um, and this is a Melody Ross that you cannot even get anymore. This is a really big set, all worth it, right here. And I got it mainly for that B. As you can see right there and then I never used it so these are a lot bigger than what it looks like on the picture on the front so all right that was lot 36 23 shipped okay guys uh, look at the drop down menu below I'll try to update with what's been claimed um, as best I can and again I want to appreciate everybody who's bought um, from me so far um, I'm going to give myself a little bit of a break here, and um, but I do have still a lot more clean out to go in my craft room. I just don't know when I'll be posting. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody.